Okay, so in this video, we're gonna make it so if we kill all of the enemies before the countdown comes to zero, we freeze the game. And if the countdown if the countdown comes to zero before we kill all of the uh, before we kill all of the enemies, then we also want to freeze the game. So that's like a way of saying that the game is over. So to do this, let's go to Visual Studio and let's go to our player script. And here we have to check if every time we kill an enemy, we have to actually take notice of it. We, so we will create a variable here at the top and we're gonna we're gonna declare it of type int and we're going to say int enemies killed and this initial is going to be equal to zero but whenever we kill an enemies we're going we, whenever we kill an enemy we're going to say enemies killed plus plus which means that we are adding one to enemies killed and then we're going to check if enemies killed is equal so if enemies killed is equal to our countdown our our sorry if enemies is equal to our, our number of enemies then we want to say that uh, we won the game okay so to say this to, to compare this first of all we need to get this number somehow so to get this number what we're going to do is that we're going to write a new method inside the enemy spawner that returns this value so we can get it from the player script okay so let's create this new method so it's going to be of type public int it's public because we want to be able to access it from player and it's of type integer because it's returning this value over here so public int get number of enemies and inside this uh, method we have to return a value so let's return let's type in return number of enemies so what this return word does is that it returns the value that we put next to it so we are returning number of enemies all right so now let's go back to player and in here we got we we so to call this method the get number of enemies we need inside this script inside the player script we need a reference to enemy spawner so let's make that reference here let's say enemy spawner enemy spawner and we're gonna make this reference public so we can edit it from the inspector type in a semicolon so here is the reference to the enemy spawner so now we can say if enemy skills if enemy skill is equal to enemy spawner dot get number of enemies so if this is true then open brackets open and close brackets if this condition in here is true it means that we have one so we want to show it we want to show that we won and then what we also want to do is that we want to freeze the game so when they say time dot delta time not time dot delta time sorry time dot time scale equals zero so time dot time scale is is from the class time two and if you hover the mouse over this word it says that the scale at which the time is passing this can be used for slow motion effects so if we set it to zero it means that we're going to freeze the game and if we set it to one that means that the game is going to resume and the way we want to show that we want to the score that we won the so the way we want to show this is by actually modify modifying the text so modifying this countdown text so we're gonna get a reference to this text too so in our case in the page script we're gonna make this ref that reference public so we're going to say public text and you can see that we cannot uh, we cannot type this the text word because we haven't used the unity library so using unity engine dot ui and now we can say public text and then we can say uh, countdown countdown text like this so now inside here we're going to say down here we're going to say countdown text dot text equals and we're going to equal this to a string a personalized string called you you won exclamation mark so if we win then this is going to happen and then we're going to freeze the game okay and one other thing that we need to do we're going to go to our countdown timer and here in the update method we're checking uh, the value of countdown of the countdown number so if the value of the countdown number is equal to zero 
we want to actually say that we lost and then we want to pause the game so if countdown number is equal to zero then what we want to do is that we want to uh, say that we lost and then we want to freeze the game so countdown countdown text dot text equals you let's type in like this you lost and then we want to freeze the game so time dot time scale equals zero like this okay so now let's go back to the unity inspector and let's make sure that we have these references uh, set set up okay so let's go back to the unity inspector let's go back to our player and here uh, you can see that in the inspector while selecting the player you can see that here there is the player script and it's waiting for the reference to the enemy spawner and the countdown text so drag the countdown text or the countdown object to the countdown text over here and you have to drag the enemy spawner to the enemy spawner field over here click save and now we play the game and if we win we should freeze the game and if we lose we should freeze the game too because that's what we are doing or what we're trying to do right now so let's try to eat every single enemy let's try to win this game you won and we cannot move because we have frozen the game okay we have paused the game perfect so this is gonna be it for this video i'll see you in the next video